guys, Dave from Timber Time Outdoors. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you're new here, uh, welcome. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much for uh, tuning in. Today's video is all about the equipment that I use for making firewood. So I've got uh, kind of my top five, the things that I really uh, think have helped my production and have uh, made me more efficient. Uh, so we're gonna talk about those five things and hey, remember everybody, keep it in the timber. Hey now. Take a step outside and seize the day now. All right, let's jump right into it. Hey, I'm going to start it off with uh, kind of a no-brainer. It's not one of my top five, but it's just something that, you know, you should just do it, and it's personal protective equipment. They're called PPE. So things like chaps, uh, helmets, um, ear protection, uh, steel toe boots, you know, um, Things like that, just it, kind of a no-brainer. Gloves, right? I mean, uh, there's all kinds of different gloves, but personal protective equipment is just an absolute no-brainer. It's not one of my top five, but don't forget to wear that stuff, guys. It's super important. And so um, I'm gonna talk about five things here. They're not in any particular order. Um, you know, some are expensive, but uh, you know, you kind of get what you pay for. So let's start with number one. Kind of the, actually one and two are, are probably the, the ones that come to mind for everybody when you're making wood, and that's chainsaws and wood splitters, right? You really can't produce any kind of volume of wood without those two things. So let's start off with chainsaws. Uh, any chainsaw will work um, and any wood splitter will work, but basically it comes down to, to speed. Uh, so when I got started, you know, I kind of did it on the cheap. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it um, in any kind of volume. So I just started with what I had. Um, I went out and bought a, a simple wood splitter from a big box store. Didn't know really what I was doing, but I bought one. And uh, I had an old chainsaw. I actually had two old uh, Husqvarna chainsaws. And I got started with that and things worked out pretty well. Well, I quickly learned that, uh, you know, the, the saws that I have weren't very fast. And of course that wood splitter um, was very slow. Um, I can link some of the videos to that one. It was a good splitter, it was just super slow. It was a 35 ton. I, I thought more tonnage would be better. But actually the trade off there is the, the more tonnage you have, the slower the splitter. And so I've got a new log splitter coming. We'll have some videos on that. And uh, of course I got my two um, new steel chainsaws that are really awesome. Um, I like to have two saws mainly because you can get one stuck and uh, they can break down on you. So, you know, you can get by with one chainsaw, but really you probably need to have two. Um, and I like one that's high horsepower, really fast for bucking rounds and something a little bit lighter, um, you know, for if you're, if you're harvesting your own wood you know, getting out in the forest and delimbing, and you know, you're using your arms a lot. You know, that can uh, that can tire you out. So I have two saws, one big, one small. Um, that's what I like to do. And then, uh, as far as a wood splitter goes, you know, again, you can get by with the big box store splitters, but they're, you know, to be honest, they're very slow. Their cycle time is, you know, 15 to 20 seconds per split. Um, I'm moving to a commercial log splitter. There's uh, some good ones out there. Uh, mine is a Wolf Ridge and it's got a six second cycle time. So I can't wait to get that, the long lead time on that thing, but uh, I should have it here soon. Um, you can, you can uh, replace both your saw and the wood splitter with what, something that's called a uh, wood processor. And I've used those. Um, I don't have a ton of experience with them, but they're very fast, but there's a couple of drawbacks to them. They're super expensive, so they're about 25 grand. I actually paid a guy to come to my property. Um, he was a great guy, but uh, they're very expensive. They break down a lot. And the thing that I really didn't like about it is you can't control the size of the wood very well. So, you know, it's, it's chopping the log, it's dropping it into the conveyor and it's shooting through a six way wedge or four way wedge. And you get pieces this big and you get pieces this big. And I just, you know, I ended up handling that wood twice. And uh, it wasn't for me personally, I think, you know, if you're making wood for boilers where um, your customers don't care about the size of the wood, it's probably not a problem and probably the most efficient way to go if you have the money. But uh, I'm picky about the size of my wood and my customers are too. And so I'm gonna go with chainsaws and a commercial log splitter. All right, number three. Number three is actually behind me. Um, this is a beast of a tractor. This is the Kubota MX5800. Uh, it's a few, year, few years old now. Um, but it's just an amazing tractor. It's got just a, a crazy amount of lift capacity. Um, it's able to handle any size log for the most part. 
But basically number three is, you know, you don't necessarily have to have a tractor, but you need something to lift these logs, if, especially if you're harvesting your own. You need something to skid them out of the woods, um, you know, lift them up. Uh, a tractor is super useful, but you can also use a skid steer. Now again, very expensive. Do you need one this big? Do you need a full size skid steer? Probably not. You can probably get by with a smaller tractor. It kind of depends on the volume that you're doing. Um, but I would say a, a tractor or a skid steer is pretty much a must have if you're going to do any kind of volume. You know, you might need to lift pallets of wood around, um, scooping up wood and loading a trailer, that kind of thing. I mean, they're just invaluable. Um, I use this thing in the woods. I use it to load my trailers and uh, it just does an awesome job. Um, so that brings me kind of to number four and that's trailers. Um, I have two trailers. I would love to have three trailers because you just, you know, depending on what you're doing, um, you know, if you're just taking a small load, you don't want to use this great big dump trailer that I have. I mean, it is an awesome trailer and works great for hauling logs and, um, you know, anything of any volume, like a full quart of wood or that kind of thing. But a lot of my customers are, you know, they're, they're basically buying face cord at a time. And uh, I actually bring it to them and stack it to, for them. You know, that's just my customer and I can make a video on how I sell it. There's lots of ways to sell firewood, but um, trailers are invaluable. Now, some people use dump trucks too. You can get a small dump truck that works well, but uh, I like trailers. Um, I have a dump trailer and then I have just a small utility trailer. I'd love to have a, uh, a small dump trailer as well, but uh, you know, maybe that's something we'll buy in the future. Um, but anyway, I, I really love my dump trailer. Um, I'll link a video here uh, to that. Um, it's a Lamar. I happen to have a gooseneck and um, works really well for me. I think the most popular dump trailer for this kind of thing is a 14 foot bumper pull. But um, I had a heavy, heavy duty truck and so I, I just really like the way a gooseneck tows. I also haul my tractor in there and um, I'm able to take the grapple and put it up on top of the um, up on top of the gooseneck so I have more length as far as hauling goes. But trailers must have, you gotta have some kind of trailer to haul your wood. And then the last thing, um, I probably should have made that number four, but is the grapple. And so um, I'll show you the grapple here, give you some other views of it. But uh, a grapple is, you know, and there's lots of different kinds of grapples. Um, I happen to like this particular one. I have a video on it, I'll link that here. But uh, a grapple's great because it can lift the logs. Um, it just does so much for you. Now again, you gotta have a skid loader or you gotta have a tractor to get the grapple. Um, they're, you know, $1,500, $2,000, that's about what they cost. Um, but boy, are they awesome for firewood. Um, a firewood bucket would also work well, but uh, I, I like this particular grapple because it, it does both things. And so those are the five things that I like. So let's recap. So basically you have a good chainsaw or two, preferably one that's big and one that's small. Um, you've got a wood splitter. You know, I like one that's a commercial grade that has a fast cycle time. The big box store ones will get you by, but you're not gonna be able to do any kind of volume. It'll be the bottleneck in your process right away. Um, so some kind of a skid loader or tractor for lifting. Uh, trailers and then I I like the grapple so um, those five things can really uh, add up uh, in terms of cost so you might have to chip away at it over time which is what I did but uh, you know you'll you'll get some money back from selling the firewood and you can pay for those things as you go but uh, yeah firewood's fun um, if you're watching this video obviously you have fun with it too but uh, you know if you don't have this kind of equipment it is a it's a labor of love for sure and uh, this just happens to speed things up. So um, we'll wrap this one up here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video and you learned a few things, please hit that like button and uh, send it to your friends. And of course, uh, if you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button. We do all kinds of stuff with firewood and tractors. And um, you know, we also do a segment kind of on deer hunting too. And uh, you'll see those videos as well. But uh, thanks for being with us, guys. And remember everybody, keep it in the timber. Bye-bye.